Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's lecture. My name is Khadi. Uh, today I'm going to talk about for loop. We have studied while loop and do while loop and uh, in this lecture I'm going to talk about for loop. This was the example that we had written in a previous lecture. So for loop. This is the syntax. We use for and inside parentheses we uh, initialize a variable we give it a value for example we say if r, uh, r is equals to 1 it means i starts from 1 termination condition we are going to give a condition the same as uh, other conditions that we gave in the uh, f and also in of while loop and do while loop and uh, the last one which increments we were using increment condition inside the while loop and do while loop but here we are going to do it in the parents then we are going to write our statements inside the bracket. So, example integer counter for for counter is equals to zero. This starts from zero. Counter less than ten means zero to nine, which is ten times. Then counter equals to counter plus one, or you can use counter plus plus. Uh, then see out counter. Each time it will print what print a counter value first it's zero it will print zero first then it will become one it will print one then it will become two and it will print two just like that how about if we make a table for two two into one is equals two two into two is equals to four two into three is equals to six two into four is equals to eight these things tell two into ten is equals to twenty or you can make it as much as you want two into uh, 20 is equals to 40 up to that one let's just try this one inside the uh, C++ you can use for loop or while loop any of them you want so let's go through that I'm going to make an integer integer uh, I for loop I starts from let's start from one because we multiply two by one then five by two then ten ten so then what will be the condition it will uh, I less than equals to ten up uh, from one up to ten and each time it should be plus one incremented so we are going to display see how, what uh, 2 into 2 into 2 into what 2 into first it will be 1 2 into 1 pi is 1 next time it will be changed to 2 and then it will change to 3 then it will change to 4 just like that so 2 into i which is going to be changed each time then equal sign after that our result which is 2 multiplied by i and and l or backslash n and if then that you want so what will happen because we started from 1 up to 10 it means it will display the table 2 multiplied by 1 equals to 2 then tell 2 multiplied by 10 let's just compile it and run it and let's see what the result will be 2 into 1 is equal to 2 2 into 2 is equal to 4 up to 2 into 10 if we change the condition to 20 what will happen it will uh, it will multiply up to 2 into 20 how about if we do it up to 100 or 200 let's see what happens yeah let's go up to 400 2 into 200 is equal to 400 so this is the for loop this is an example that you can just write it uh, let's uh, make an example for uh, just change i'm going to just change it to uh, if the user wants a table of four let's just uh, make another two variable one is n integer n for asking the user how much time it wants it to be printed and uh, one for which table it wants another is t 
so first let's display and let's just display enter enter which table you want backslash t I'm going to use backslash t this time for making eight spaces then let's take the input from user which is for t input for t then see out another message for user enter how many times you want so it will be backslash t also then cn n we take the value of n so here and instead of uh, 200 i say n because i want this to continue up to n up to 200 up to 400 up to 1000 as much as the user want and here instead of two i have to use one thing else which is our t and also here instead of two i use t because uh, the user wants the table for five so t will be five five into i is equals to five into i let's see let's see what happens and uh, the last i will show by slash n so let's run it compile and then run enter which table you want i say i want table for 10 how much time mm, 10 10 into 1 is 10, 10 into 2 is 20, it's up to 10 into 10 is equal to 100 y. See? This is the example that uh, we take the input from user which table you want and how many times you want. You can also change it to, let's change it, which table you want? I, tab I want the table for 234. So how many, how much time you want? The same thing, 10 times. 200 into 1 then this is the table now you can make any table by this code so guys uh, this was the for loop uh, we will discuss it uh, a little bit more so guys uh, just uh, go through for loop if you had any question you can contact me also and also like our uh, subscribe our channel and also introduce our channel to your friends uh, see you in the next lecture